Have you ever wondered how you can find an unknown IP address of a device? Have you ever got stuck when you were trying to configure a device that had a static IP address and you didn't know the IP address? Look no further because I'm actually stuck in the same situation here. Yeah. Okay, so this is my situation here. I have this IP camera that I need to configure. Uh, I have connected it with an Ethernet cable to this computer here. It is also powered on and normally I would open a browser on the computer and type in the camera's IP address and then connect to its web interface, right? But this guy has a static IP address and I have no idea what it is. There's nothing written on the camera. There is only a model number and a serial number, which I don't care. So I don't know what I should do. Huh? Things are happening here. Yeah. Oh, I know, packet capture. But before I get to the packet capture, let me explain a couple of things here. Let's say this IP camera is connected to this network and has an IP address of 192.168.1.200 and the default gateway is 192.168.1.1 which is the wireless router. The default gateway is going to be used in case the IP camera or any other device on this network needs to access something outside the network. For example, something on the internet. The IP camera knows the default gateway's IP address, but it doesn't know its MAC address. In a layer 2 network such as Ethernet, MAC addresses are used as a network address for communication. So the IP camera somehow has to find the default gateway's MAC address. And this is how it's gonna do it. Basically it's going to ask every device on the network if they are 192.168.1.1 or not. And it's gonna do it by broadcasting an ARP request. ARP or Address Resolution Protocol is a protocol for mapping an IP address to a MAC address. Now only the default gateway, which is the wireless router here, is going to reply to the ARP request and send its MAC address to the IP camera. Okay, so what I learned so far about ARP is going to be enough for me to find my IP camera's unknown static IP address. So now here where the camera is directly connected to my computer, if I analyze the packets here, I should be able to see an ARP request coming from the camera which is basically trying to find the MAC address of its default gateway. The source IP address of that ARP request is going to be the IP camera's IP address and that's all I need. Okay, first of all, I'm going to download and install Wireshark which is a free packet analyzer software. Then I'm going to start a packet capture on the local area connection which is the Ethernet interface of my computer. I'm going to let it run for about 10 seconds and then stop the packet capture. There's all kinds of packets here, so I'm going to use a filter to see only the ARP packets. Okay, I think I found what I wanted. These ARP requests are coming from this MAC address which I can assume is the IP camera. It is looking for 10.0.0.1 which I believe is its default gateway. If I expand the ARP request, I can also see the source IP address which is the IP camera's IP address and that's exactly what I was looking for. So now if I open a browser and type in the IP camera's IP address, I should be able to connect, right? So you might tell me why didn't you use one of those IP scanner software like network scanner software. You're right, I could have used one of those and I would have found the IP address. But when you troubleshoot a network there is no feeling like dealing with packets because they're the fundamentals of networks and getting your hands dirty and packety it's a whole new experience. If you have never used a packet capture it's like um, if you're a mechanic and you never got oil on your hand. Or if you are a porn star and you never got naked. I mean, not the best metaphor, but you got the idea, right? So let's get naked. I mean, let's use packet captures more often because it's a very good learning experience. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe because more videos are coming soon. 
Thank you again and I see you next time.